Hey everybody. So I wanted to hop in and talk about an awesome system you can use when you're building your funnels, your websites, all of that kind of stuff. Now, if you are using this great tool called Go High Level, there's a lot of companies out there that have white labeled. So Funnel Gorgeous, so FGF, uh, all of those uh, people, companies out there, you know, the platform is the same behind the scenes. Let me share with you an awesome thing that you need to do that will uh, really increase the speed of building out your web pages. And that is using what we call templates and global items. And I'm just going to show you the difference between the two because people get a little uh, confused here. So let me just uh, shrink my head down here just a bit. Now I am inside of the funnel page. Uh, I've just got a sample page here. And you'll notice at the bottom is my footer, okay? So this footer is probably something that you want on every single page of your funnel. You might also want the same type of footer, footer on your website. So uh, you have two choices or two options and they kind of work together. Now, Pay attention here just for a quick second and let me talk about this. When you create a global section within a funnel page, what that means is you have to bring that section in on every page, but when it is marked as a global, what that means is if you change it on one it will change it on all the others. Now this is a game changer because sometimes we'll put something on a page, we're building it out and then we realize, oh, I forgot to add this or I should have added something else to my footer. If we create it as a global element, it will change it. So if we have five pages or five steps in that funnel and we've used a global element, this global uh, like section, this footer, it will change it on all. So that is a huge game changer. In addition to that, you can also create uh, like saved sections, basically. So if there's something that you use over and over again, so again, this particular footer, uh, if I wanted to use it on every single funnel that I build, then I'm in addition to using as a global, stick with me here, I'm also going to save it as a template. And then every new funnel that I build, I can just bring that in. Are you with me? So let me just show you how I would do that. Uh, I'll try to do a step-by-step -step so you don't get uh, too confused here. So let me shrink this down a little bit. So at the, at the bottom, let me just make my view a little bigger. So hopefully you can uh, just see it a little better here. Okay. Um, so down at the bottom is my section down here. So I'm just going to, uh, let, let me just say, I'm going to change it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but starconsulting.net and, uh, Let's say that I want to make that a hyperlink. So I'm going to go ahead and add my hyperlink. Feel free to stop over and visit my website anytime you want. And then there it is. Okay, so now I've saved that. Maybe I wanna do one other thing. There's a background color here. I could uh, change the background color if I wanted. Uh, you know, I could change my text color. Um, it's always fun, isn't it? When you get into the design here, uh, we could change things to white. So I'm just gonna just make a couple of quick little changes here so that you can just see it. I'm gonna change my link color to white also. Okay, so beautiful, I've just made those changes. Now I know that I will want to use this on all of my funnel pages in this particular funnel. Now, uh, I did not add the link to terms and conditions and all of that for the sake of time, but normally you would. So the first thing I'm going to do is I select the section that I want to save, okay? And then over here, 
the element name just so that I can quickly find it. I am going to use my initials, so SC for Star Consulting. So that's tip one for you. Uh, anything that I save, any of these things that I save as global or templates, I put my initials so they're quick to find. Another little tip is I put things in all caps. Again, another tip. So I'm just going to say a uh, standard footer section. Okay. So the reason I'm naming it is if this page had uh, 50 sections, it's going to be super easy for me to find. All right. Are you tracking me on that? All right. So I've made my footer. Now I want to save it as a global um template that can be used across all the pages in this footer. So if you come up to the very top and you click on the little layers icon here, I opened up my page and now notice I know exactly which uh, section I'm going to be saving because I named it with the SC and it's in all caps. All right. If I click the three little dots, I can save that section. So I will save it and says save this section as an asset. And I'm going to do the same thing. I always start it with my initials and I'm going to say, because this is a basic, um, let me say footer basic. Okay. Cause maybe, maybe some of my, um, set, some of my footer sections might be more, detailed. Okay. So I'm just going to say uh, SC footer basic. And then the next thing is I have to make a decision. Am I going to save it as a template or a global section? In this instance, I'm actually going to do both because a template means anytime I create a new funnel or even a website, I can pull this template and I can use it over and over again. So there's lots of things that you probably are using over and over again. And sometimes it's just the layout. You know, maybe you have a testimonial layout that's just perfect. It's three columns. You've got the font just the way you want it. And maybe you'll change out the, uh, the, the actual people, but all of that is perfect then save that section as a template. And I would just call it the, put my initials and then uh, favorite testimonial section or something. Then I can use it over and over again. Do you see how much time this is going to save you? So that's what the template does. So I'm going to save it as a template. All right, so now it's in my library. I can just use it all the time. Now, the next thing that I want to do, though, is notice I'm still highlighting this section. Notice it's green, okay? So it just means it's a regular section. I now want to save it as a global element. And then anytime I use it on this site, if I change one thing, it's going to change everything. So follow along again up here under my layers. And here's my um, little section. I'm going to save it. And um, I can call it the same thing if I want. Um, this is, um, I'm just going to say um, footer. And then if I wanted to give it a, a name of um the particular uh, funnel that I'm building or something. Okay. I'm just going to call that. You don't have to call it a global. You don't have to add that, but uh, just for sake of illustrating. And now the drop down, I'm going to say global sections and save. All right. So now it's on this page. Let me go to a second page here and I will show you the beauty of this. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now I am on the second step or the second page of this funnel that I'm building. Uh, looks completely different, uh, just random stuff that I use as a test. Now, if we scroll down, I don't have any footer section here. So I want to add a section. And what I'm going to do, because I already originally saved it as a template, I'm going to call in that template first. Um, and then you'll, you'll see the magic here in just a second. 
So if you'll notice up here at the top, I just click the plus sign to add an element. And now notice there's a section here that's called global sections. And down here is that global section that I created. So I'm just going to click and drag it. So I'm holding this and, and sometimes Sometimes it's hard to get it to the very bottom. If it is, just stick it in any place. So here it is. And then once you have it selected, you can use the little down arrow key to get it in the right place. Because again, sometimes just getting it to that very, very bottom is a little tricky. All right. So now notice that this section is purple around it instead of the green because I saved it as a global section. Now here is the beauty of using a global section. I realized that, oh no, I forgot to hyperlink my terms and conditions. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just gonna put the same thing here, it doesn't matter uh, for this example, but I'm just going to add that. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to save this page and it's saying, whoa, wait a minute, you made a change to a global section. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Okay, so it's saving it. And now when I go back to that first page, so now here's the hyperlink on this. But remember I said that first page, the hyperlink wasn't there. So let me go back to that first page I will open that up and now you're going to see, and actually I could have just flipped over to it. I should have taken the shortcut. Now when I hover over it, I don't know if you can see it. Let me just make this a little bigger. <clears throat> Do you see the power here of how this is going to save you time? So now when I hover over it, now notice the hyperlink. So how's that? So let me just recap here. Use global sections. And then when you're bringing that in on your funnel pages, you make a change to one, it's going to change it to all. So as I'm designing it, maybe I decided I didn't want the purple. Maybe I wanted a different color. I could change it. Boom, it's changed it across all of them. When you save sections as templates, the power of that is you can pull that template in no matter what funnel you're working on. So again, if there's a certain design style, maybe the words are gonna change, but a certain design style, save that and then you've got it. It's gonna save you so much time because you just bring in that template. And the third little tip, remember I told you, save these sections with your initials and then whatever you wanna call it, type it all in caps. Because when you later are pulling in different sections, it's gonna be super easy because you can just do a quick search on your initials and boom, there's the list. All right, hope that was helpful. Let me know uh, what you liked about it. What would you like to see in future videos? And hey, as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I would love for you to catch all of my videos. Take care.